What's up Outlaw Nation? How is everybody today? So, I have a new series in mind. I hope that you guys like it, but let's check it out. Today we're talking Glock 47. All right, Outlaw Nation, I got it. The brand new Glock 47. It's so new that I literally just picked it up and I don't even have good sights on it yet. But I wanted to show you guys, I wanted to give you guys an overview of it. But here's the thing. Like if you start looking at some of our favorite YouTubers, Such, Grantham, TFTB, what is his name? TFTTB, I, I don't know, the lawyer. I like that guy, I like to watch his stuff, he's cool. Coleon, like I like those guys. They give an excellent review of all of the details on the gun, and they give you some really cool footage of people shooting it. I wanna show you something just a little bit different. I wanna know what is the max effective range that I can shoot this gun. Now I realize there are lots better shooters out there than me. I'd consider myself, you know, maybe a, maybe a mid-tier shooter. I don't really know. But for everyday use concealed carry, you know, what is the effective range of this gun for me? now? Sights might change a little bit. Red dot will change a little bit. So I'm gonna do it both. I'm gonna do one video with, without a red dot, one with a red dot, and just see what it does and let this Glock 47 maybe be the standard for us. But I'm gonna do this to all of my pistols. And I just wanna see, because I have a theory that your pocket pistol won't do as well at distance as your full-size pistol. So this Glock 47 is a full-size pistol. To be honest with you, it's a Glock 17, but maybe just a little bit more modular, which we might do a, stay tuned for a Glock 19L coming up. But it's a full-size pistol. It's a full-size combat pistol. It should shoot well. I should be able to do very well with this with open sights. So let's give it a shot. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go five yards, 10 yards, 15, 20, and we're gonna go all the way out to 50 yards, okay? The point of this is, one, what is my skill level? Where am I good to? And two, what is the gun good to in my hands? So it may be different for you, but I may find some guns I can only shoot to 15 yards. Some guns I might be able to shoot them to 50. I don't know. So let's check it out. All right, guys, five yards. Literally the first time I've shot the gun. Here we go. All right, let's go look. What I think about the trigger, trigger's kind of smooth. I don't mind it. Uh, I pulled one over here, but here's five shots, all roughly center mass, fast. I mean, with every pistol you have, you should be able to put five shots on them at five yards pretty fast, okay? Remember, I'm not trying to one hole the group, the gun. I'm trying to get a good pattern and hit them all center mass so I can live and I can stop his action. All right, here we are for 10 yards, full size Glock 47. All right, guys, another really good shooting. Great shots, great groups. I'm able to hold center mass. I'm able to shoot the gun fast to 10 yards. Glock 47 is really excellent. Let's move to the steel at 15 yards. All right, guys, steel at 15 yards. Now I want you to remember something. Look at how fast I shot the five versus the 10 and watch how I have to progressively slow down to make sure that I can see my sights and get my hits. Remember, I'm not a competition shooter. I'm not Taryn, I'm not KC. I'm just a regular guy. And so I need to make sure that I get my hits. Also, in a gunfight, the time that it takes you to get your hits is the same time it's gonna take that guy as well. So don't just pull shots and shoot when you don't know what you're gonna hit. All right, that was five good shots. All of them hit the target center mass very well. Let's move this thing back to 20. Now noting, 20 and 25 yards get really hard to hit. Here we go. All right, so on that one right there, I pulled my first shot. And the reason I pulled my first shot was because I gripped my gun wrong when I was pulling it out of my holster. But I continued along with the drill like I was supposed to, and I still got five shots on target. I would say 20 yards from this, this gun still does very well. But notice, remember I talked to my grip video, go back to my grip video and note, when I pulled this gun out, because I didn't get a full firing grip and it's, Partially, it's my fault. But because I didn't get that firing grip perfect when I came out, I pulled my first shot left. 
and then I had to adjust and the rest of them hit. Here's the facts. I even got to tell myself at 20 yards, I might be a little more dangerous and I need to slow down because that could have been a civilian. All right, here we go, 25 yards. Hey, listen, when I was a cop, it's been a long time, but when I was in law enforcement, at 25 yards, they made us take a knee and get down on our belly to shoot this far, but I'm gonna shoot it standing up. All right, notice I took my time there and I got five on target very, very well. All I did was rest the front side on his neck. No problems at all. Now I'm backing it up to 30 yards. Look, some people would say 30 yards is too far. It may be, but I wanna know what my limits are. We know not long ago there was a dude, a good guy with a gun that stopped a bad guy in a, with a gun in a mall at 40 yards. I don't know all the details to that, but I know the 40 yard drill and that's, it's tough. So we're gonna go all the way to 50 and just see what my limits are with this gun. All right, so I pulled my first shot again, but when I pulled that first shot, I could feel me break the trigger and I broke it just a little low. I had to relax just a little bit and I got five more on target from 30 yards. 30 yards is far, guys. All right, gang, 40 yards. 40 yards is a long way to that target. Now, one thing that I want you to understand, this has to be something that you train because it just happened in America, not even just a few months ago. So. This has to be a threat that we might face at a mall, all right? Now, I do have Glock crappy sights. I understand that. And so it might be better. And I don't have a red dot, which I think, which I know will be better. But I want to know where I am right now with this gun. So here we go. Notice it takes longer. I can't just draw and shoot. All right, just being honest, it took me seven shots to hit it five times. Pulled two just right over the right shoulder. That's me, that's not the gun. The gun is capable at 40 yards. I like it, let's go to 50. All right, boys, here we go, 50 yards. Would I do 50 yards in an American gunfight? Whew, the answer is it depends. Here we go, let's try it. All right, hey, let's just be honest and just call a spade a spade. All right, so I gave it a real effort. And it's okay if you guys want to, you know, talk bad about me, whatever. I shot 17 and 17 rounds, whatever that is at this. Um, I hit the target a total of five times, but it took me all of these rounds to hit the target. Now I'm hitting all the way around the target. One of the things I was having a problem with was being able to level up my front sight in the back to try to be able to get the holdover. Now, here's some things that I have to be honest with myself about, okay? My eyes aren't that good. The target was very blurry to me with this sight. So right now I'm not tuned up. I haven't shot a pistol in about four months. So here's the truth. Would I take a 50 yard shot with, with this pistol right now today in public? The answer is no. Would I take a 40 yard shot? I would, I would because I hit him at 40. I missed once, I hit him the rest of the time. I hit him at 30, I hit him everywhere else. But with open sights, with standard Glock sights, this Glock 47 is a beaut to shoot. I love it, but I'm not going 50 yards with it. All right, guys, do me a favor. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. Let's get back in the algorithm. 84% of you are watching, but you're not subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. Give me some love. Outlaw out. Law out.